Hey YouTube, Corpersan here and welcome to the second episode of the mini series Zero to Hero. The leveling and progression series without any zeros or hero classes in it. In this series we're starting off on a fresh account without any characters on it and we're trying to get as strong as possible before the Destiny update is released mid-June. I aim to get 15,000 main stats but uh, let's see how far we can push it. In this episode we're going to reach level 210, Star Force and cube more of our gear and we'll start working on Legion and Link skills. But first we have to do the worst thing ever as a fresh level 200 character, defeat 10 Happy Erdas. I usually level up my Arcane Power Hyperstat to level 6 so I can deal with the monsters in this area just a bit faster after we actually unlock our symbol. We also got a ton of node stones from the reboot box. We are disassembling a few of those node stones that we don't need like decent hyper body and those purple nodes to get 140 node shards. We need this to craft holy symbol and we'll start using that in our fifth skill slot. Holy symbol gives bonus exp and increases drop rate which means more node stones and symbols will pop up from monsters while grinding so I always recommend trying to get this skill first. I also completed the end request for Ramaru, which is the quest Call of Princess Sukano, Stop Ramaru. This is a level 120 quest that can be found in the light bulb on the left side of the screen. Also, don't forget to activate your EXP collection stones that you got from the 5th job advancement to start filling those up for some additional bonus EXP. I also star forced most of my gear to 12 stars. We complete the vanishing journey entry quest line and reach level 201. While doing our dailies for the first time we reach level 202 and we're still struggling a lot. Especially with the PQ that we have to do solo. Holy crap this is so difficult. For this PQ I always try to get as many red orbs as possible for a better chance to not get sent to that other stage where you have to hunt monsters. Purple orbs will give you a chance to still get sent to the blue zone where you have to stop the invading monsters. But I always prefer the red zone where you have to fire the lasers as that one is just a bit faster. Also time for more daily bosses. I actually managed to finally get the Zakuma accessory. Finally. And at this point we can start taking on normal Von Leon. I decided to not go for any other gear sets. So not for the Von Leon set or the Commercy set. I really don't want to do even more dailies in Von Leon's castle. I can just barely defeat normal Von Leon now. So getting gear will be very time consuming. The same goes for Commercy which would take a while to get started on. And I think I would still struggle with some bosses on some of the voyages. While the Von Leon set can get really good flame stats. And the Commercy Mercy set has way better stats in general than the Penstar set. The Penstar set is just much easier to get and much easier to replace when we start accidentally booming our gear. After completing our dailies for a few more days and unlocking our Carrium, it was Sunday my dudes. So I bought additional Monster Park entry tickets so we could farm some EXP coupons. Those are still pretty rare for us to get. Thanks to our daily boss grinding we managed to get enough reward points to purchase a totem in the cash shop for faster grinding as well. So our next goal was to complete the reverse city questline to get additional symbols, another level up and here we unlock our next training spot. Don't use the additional symbols that you get from completing this questline just yet though, we're saving those for the choo choo symbol. We also got a weapon to 16 stars which was a lot of pain. Getting to 15 was super easy, I was like yes this is it my lucky day. But that single star getting it from 15 to 16 costed me like a small fortune. If you can wait then definitely wait until a 5, 10, 15 sunny Sunday Star Force event. But because we're on a timer here I don't want to just wait and I just hoped I got lucky which I, I didn't. <laughs> I should have seen the signs though because with my remaining 400 million I bought a few black cube packs in an attempt to rank up my weapon and also no luck there so we ran out of money and we've barely got any gains. We cubed a few more of our items with the occult cubes that we found from boss monsters though and we made sure that everything has three lines now with stamps that we either found ourselves or that we got from mule characters. Now ready for our training we purchased the totem and get the grind going. We stayed in T-Boy's research train for the next few levels. While grinding make sure to use all the EXP boosts you can find like those from monster park, the monster park cult potions and MVP if there is any. If you cannot one shot yet any damage boosting potions are always welcome as well. And there we stayed until we reached level 210. Before we go to the next area though I also I worked a bit on link skill mules. I have zero intentions that I get any link skill mule to level 210 unless we absolutely have to. To get started I leveled a Mercedes to level 120 and an Evan to level 70. I will still get the Evan to level 101 and right now I'm using them mostly as coin capping mules. Meaning that we won't be trading at places that will give you the best EXP but at maps where we can defeat as many monsters as quickly as possible so we can just get more event coins faster. I already used some of my event coins to purchase EXP node stones that I use for my holy symbol node stone to level up that skill 
skill even more. I will use all three EXP node stones on this skill. We're also gonna purchase the other node stone and everything else that's useful for my main in that store on these mule characters. I do this so that my main can focus on getting the coins for the rings while my mules do the work for the account wide rewards. The way I leveled my mules is pretty standard. I get them to level 30 in Victoria Island or any other starter area. Then I complete the LNL Ferry Academy, then Rihanna Strait, then I complete a few quests in Gold Beach until I reach level 60. After that, I follow our usual training route from Copper Sandrix into level 70. Then I go to Stereo to the Sky 1 in Orbis to level 85, or I go to Aqua Road if the character works well on the water. Then around level 85, I go to the Desert Rabbits in Ariant, and I train to level 100 at the hidden map authorized personnel only in Megatia. I always do Zakum once a day once I reach level 100 on my mules for the accessories and just the easy EXP. I decided that I won't buy any mastery books for these characters either, as mastery books are most likely going to be removed with our destiny update and I don't need to get those characters above level 140 anyway. Plus we can now save a lot of mesos that we can also use to fund our main with. The Mercedes link skill increases EXP gained and the Evan link skill increases rune duration so I made those two first so that I can level up my main and my other mules just a bit faster. Reaching level 200 we also unlocked our legion but it's still pretty weak at this point. I'll go more in depth into the legion system in the next episode. Having logged in for 7 days we also unlock our first reward from the fairy bros event which is a 90 day pet so now we don't need to worry about getting a pet anymore either. Going back to our main, we find Ursus for some free money. We get about 90 million a day from this boss and over 100 million from Maple Tour every week. So make sure to complete those two pieces of content for some good money. And so we're off completing the Choo Choo entry quest. Man, this was really tough. I did not have enough arcane power to deal the maximum amount of damage and those monsters hit like a truck. Took me like an hour just to complete the starter quest. Make sure to use your 20 symbols that we got from Reverse City to level up your Choo Choo symbol uh, once you actually obtain it. And I also did my Vanishing Journey dailies after I completed the Choo Choo introduction quest because now I have to do one less daily there. At this point we're at 4300 stats and we're almost at the 33% mark where one third of our journey is there finally. I just felt so bad though after our failed Star Force and cubing attempt that I used my remaining mesos to buy a few red cube packs. Last time I used red cubes on my weapon on my main I got like 32% attack on my shade. So I figured these cubes are actually my lucky ones and we actually did rank up our weapon to unique. In the end the lines we rolled weren't that great but our rank up is a rank up. And that was all the progression for today's episode. In the next episode we're gonna finally start tackling some stronger bosses, get new gear, rank up our gear, reach almost 6k stats and get closer to 100% crit rate. So stay tuned for the next episode and that was all for today as always many thanks to our members for making these videos possible thanks to Niels de Konek, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safron X, Anwar NHI, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knife Suit, Channel 125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zeng, Afterlord underscore MS, Seamark, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pan, Victor Sun Stroom, Radical Jaws, Riser Ryu, Gummy Bullet, Lovebird, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Anark, Galando Balavia, my name is Corpusan and I'm super cute XOXO, PC Game Life, Dante Victory, Stunny Slouse, Kusumo Vegas, Level 243, Paladin Reboot, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, I'm Disappointed, Lucky Beats, Gabriel Leck, Pedro Bonetti, Conrad Cristales and Ace Light. Thank you all so much for watching, stay safe and happy mapling!